last time on Indie Form. Why are we in a park? Why not? Why did you bring me to the bathroom? Why not? Lance, you're abusing this power. There's something I need to tell you. What? Well, it's, it's just a dream. You can't actually teleport. Oh, fuck. Oh, whatever, man. Let's go make the video. Hey guys, it's time to get indie fawn with our top Kickstarter picks of the last month. To start things off, we have a couple of honourable mentions. Koji Igarashi, a co-director of Symphony of the Nights, is making an ode to Castlevania and Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Winterflame The Other Side is an adventure game set in a beautifully desolate world and with a multi-purpose gauntlet for puzzling. And lastly, Empyrean Rule Rise of the Ancients is real-time strategy in a large and persistent world of magic. Moving on to the top 5 now, we kick our rankings off with another Square Enix collective game coming to Kickstarter in Tokyo Dark. It's a game with a lot of interesting pieces, a nice anime art style, deep narrative, dialogue, twisted themes and point and click gameplay. There's definitely a mix of both Japanese and Western game ideas in there, but they seem to be a natural fit as they thematically overlap. Something else that caught our eye was how the events of the game make Detective Ito question the past and ultimately her sanity. This has in-game effects, with your sanity level being displayed on your social networks. Obviously, the greater your reputation as a crazy lady is, the more likely characters will treat you differently. Also, depending on how you play the game, there are 10 different endings. Presumably, some are darker than others. How dark? Tokyo Dark. This is a game designed by two best friends, a horse and a chicken. The rules are simple. Get to the flag. If you can do it, but your friends can't, you get a point. Ultimate Chicken Horse is a party platformer that is the ultimate game of chicken and horse. You play levels against a friend, and every time you reach the flag and they don't, you score a point. The twist is that the levels you play are designed by both you and your friend. You each take turns placing hazards and platforms in an attempt to sabotage your opponent, yet still make the level beatable for yourself. God forbid that you play against a troll who just wants to watch the world burn. What we really like about this from a design standpoint is that level building is not some tacked on feature that you'll tinker with aimlessly for a few minutes. Instead, it is given real purpose by being placed within the core of the game's idea, much like Little Big Planet. Sony's PlayStation 1 has been remembered as an iconic and game-changing console. When it released, one of its launch titles was the similarly beloved Anti-Gravity Racer Wipeout. However, with both Wipeout and F-Zero being dormant for more than a decade, the anti-gravity genre has been severely neglected. Nintendo gave us a few F-Zero themed tracks in its Mario Kart 8 DLC, but instead of appeasing the gaming public's appetite, it only made it more acute. Thankfully, the original developers of Wipeout have come together to make Formula Fusion. It's the anti-gravity racing we all know, faster and more adrenaline packed than any other game with some sexy ass graphics and a ruined city setting. It's back to the future with Formula Fusion.
apartment literally means a separated place. And Nick, apartment's main character, is just separated from his longtime girlfriend. He thinks she's never coming back, and so is left alone to console himself with his thoughts. This leads him to narrate the past, which is essentially what apartment is. Through multiple perspectives and a series of texts, apartment pieces together and narrates the past. But what's really neat about it is the way it does this. A series of texts doesn't translate to slabs of words to be excruciatingly read. The texts are unique and usually interactive, such as when you are prompted to write out the words to a character's story in the demo. The other residents of the apartment complex provide other perspectives that let you construct your own narrative of the events. Consequently, this stops apartment from being didactic or intrusive and lets the player relate to the game in their own way. It started out as a student project, and now Apartment is continuing to tell stories in new ways. Kickstarter lets us bypass companies and publishers to directly fund the games we want. The importance of this cannot be stressed more than by this Banjo-Kazooie spiritual successor. In a new Banjo game, people wanted a 3D platformer with a big world of collectibles to explore. But after 10 years of waiting, Microsoft gave us a goddamn build your own car game. But alas, people power has saved the day. Ukulele is going to be a 3D platformer with a big world full of collectibles and cartoony characters. It's going to reek of the 90s and early 3D gaming, and that is exactly what the people who funded this record Kickstarter want. Perhaps the most important part of this project is that it's being made by Golden Ageware employees who've collaborated before and are truly passionate about making this game. Not to mention, the proof that these guys still have what it takes goes beyond their logic of making the game players want. Their trademark humour, best exhibited in Conquer, is already on display in the form of Ukulele's newest character, Trouser. He's a snake wearing trousers. Literally, a trouser snake. In Ukulele, we trust. Hey guys, hope you liked the new intro. That was our Kickstarter picks for May. Thank you for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indie Former. Bye, Mom! Oh, it was just a dream. You can't actually...